everyone so now let's do some basic step some guys is still having some issues so let me make video how we can assign the port in the voice vlan okay so i will take one switch this is one switch let me zoom in i will give the name as a sw1 this is a switch one imagine you have one computer here okay and also you have one ip phone okay you have one ip phone you have one computer let me connect from switch to ip phone and from ip phone to computer i am doing this way if you want i can show you here if you see here here you can see here i have the cable which cable i have here this is a pc cable so i can bring my cable from the switch and i can connect here okay let me show you if i can zoom in okay the cable which is coming from switch i will connect and this cable i will connect to the computer okay so with this way we can save the port or if you want to connect separately we can connect separately also so we have two scenario how we can connect the ip phone we have two scenario this is one scenario we can connect we can bring our cable to the ip phone because in the ip phone we have the two port one port is having the what we can say one port we have for the a cable coming from the switch and other port we can put the cable and connect to our pc this way we can do or if you want to do another way we can do another way what i can do here let me take this is ip phone i can connect the cable directly from here to here okay this way and i can take the computer and i can connect separate cable from here to here here to here this way also i can do this is one scenario here i am using two port if you see here here i am using the fast ethernet 0 by 2 and fast ethernet 0 by 3 i am using two switch port in this scenario but here i am using only one port in this scenario here i am using ip phone and also i am using the computer so in most of the organization you will find this type of scenario okay in most of the organization you will find this this type of scenario but sometime you will get this type of also here we are saving the ports here we are using only one port for two devices but here what we are doing we are using the two port for two device so now example how we can put this port in the voice vlan and how i can put this port in the data vlan we can see that one let me write i can do configuration and here this ip phone will get the power from the ethernet cable but the problem here some ip phone need to put the power adapter so i put the power adapter in the packet tracer they are uh, giving like we need to put the power adapter in real also we have to sometime the model depending upon the model we need to put the power adapter but most of the time the ip phone which we are using in our organization that will power on with the ethernet cable when i connect the cable from the switch automatically this ip phone is going to power on because the ip phone is using the power over ethernet anyhow no problem let me write here we are going to use the two vlan i will write here we will use the vlan 10 just i am giving a small scenario vlan 10 for uh, i can give as a voice okay and i will use vlan 20 for data data that we can say for sales vlan so these are the two vlans so let's do the configuration i will go in this switch i will go in the cli of the switch and now i can start the configuration of the switch so here i will go enable config t then i will change as a host name as w1 and then i will go to the first of all let me create the vlan i will write vlan 10 and name voice okay and then i will write vlan 20 and i will give name as a sales our wish we can give anything if you want to check we will check do show vlan brief with this one we can check also so if you check we have the two vlan vlan 10 vlan 20 and we did not put the port and let's put the port if you see here this is a port fast ethernet 0 by 2 so what i will do i will go under that port i will write fast ethernet 0 by 2 and now i will write switch port i need to put this port in the voice vlan f0 by 2 okay f0 by 2 so how i can do i can write switch port voice 
okay and then i can write vlan what is the vlan 10 right we told vlan 10 for voice if you see this one so this way i can configure and other uh, other interface this one fast ethernet 0 by 3 i can put in the vlan 20 so let me go to other interface fast ethernet 0 by 3 and i will write here switch port mode axis and then i will write switch port axis which vlan vlan 20 if you have confusion let me show you what i done do show vlan brief if you see here i put one port that is fast ethernet 0 by 2 this one in the voice vlan and i put this port fast ethernet 0 by 3 in the data vlan that is a sales vlan these two i finish but now here i am going to use one port for both the purpose fast ethernet 0 by 1 i am going to use for both purpose so how i can configure let's see i will go here i will write interface fast ethernet 0 by 1 then i will write switch port mode axis and switch port axis vlan 20 okay and then i will write again switch port voice vlan 10 okay this command i use now we can check do show vlan brief if you see here this one here if you see this port f0 by 1 is present in the vlan 10 and also same port f0 by 1 is also present in the vlan 20 so this is a special case when we are using the voice vlan and data vlan we can have one port in two different vlan but normally if you are using data vlan you cannot keep uh, one port in two different vlan like example if you say you have the vlan 20 for sale you have vlan 30 for it you cannot keep this port example any port example if you say you cannot keep the port f0 by 1 in two different vlan two different vlan if you have vlan 20 for data and also you have vlan 30 for data okay you have this two vlan for data so you cannot keep this port in two vlan there is a special case only in that scenario only you can keep like i am keeping this same port in two different vlan this is a vlan 10 also i am having the fast ethernet 0 by 1 here in the vlan 20 also i am having the fast ethernet 0 by 1 so what i can say i am keeping the same port in two vlan but this is a voice vlan so what we can do we can keep the one interface in two vlan in the special case that special case is nothing but we are having that port in voice vlan and data vlan that is this is the sales vlan and this is a voice and this is a vlan 10 and this is a vlan 20 but if you have vlan 30 for it you cannot assign here it if you assign it sales vlan will remove from there okay so this way we can configure i hope this is uh, easy for you to understand i hope you understand this one if you face any issue no problem our whatsapp number is with you our team is there they are going to support you so you can whatsapp or write in the comments or chat box so we can reply to you okay thank you